I have challenges uh, with my breast uh, where I get easily out of breath and uh, it's hard for me to work uh, to uh, work on stairs and uh, walking long passes so and uh, I, ho I hope this uh, stem cell treatment could improve that. I was signed up uh, some years ago for uh, a lung transplant mm -hmm. but uh, and they did a second test and they concluded that my spinal wasn't strong enough for a transplant when they have to open up and therefore I was denied a lung transplant. Of course they are very professional in my point of view and uh, uh, there was no problems in if I ask a question I had uh, an answer within one or two days. Yeah I say uh, definitely they, they could, the talk would uh, never harm to to have that contact with, with Medicare. With Medicare. Uh, of course uh, you need the funds to go here and not everybody will have that but uh, as I, I think that it's worth paying those money. Okay, can you introduce yourself, tell us your name and where you come from and what brings you to Swiss Medical? Yeah, my name is uh, Klaus. I'm uh, 61 years old, coming from Denmark. And I have a lung disease called IPF. And uh, because my lungs have degraded over the years, I came here to have a stem cell treatment uh, to improve my lungs. Can you tell us more about your uh, challenges or issues that you are facing in day to day life? Uh, I still work 100% but I work mostly from home because I have challenges uh, with my breast uh, where I get easily out of breath and uh, it's hard for me to work uh, to uh, work on stairs and uh, walking long passes. So, and uh, I, ho I hope this uh, stem cell treatment could improve that. Have you tried any maybe treatments before stem cells? Uh, uh, only traditional medicine that should uh, reduce the inflammation in the lungs. And uh, why did you decide to try stem cells? Uh, was it <coughs> the only option? Or no, um, uh, I had hoped that I would. Uh, I, I, I was signed up uh, some years ago for uh, a lung transplant, mm -hmm. but uh, and they did a second test and they concluded that my spinal wasn't strong enough for a transplant when they have to open up, and therefore I was denied a lung transplant. Do you have any worries trying the stem cell therapy? No, no, not at all. I, I, did, I did some, you can call it research, on the internet and I, uh, I read articles uh, from, well, primarily from the United States and from, it was published from Harvard also and I, I felt confident after reading this. Besides your personal research, did you consult with your personal doctor in Denmark uh, yeah, yeah. about the treatment? Uh, uh, we have uh, something called the, the Lung Association, uh, where I'm a member, and I ask, and they they uh, they told me that they started to use uh, stem cells during a transplantation now because that can improve the. Um, that the new lungs will function better. But my primary doctor and the, at the lung clinic where I go for tests, uh, they were not positive. So, were, you, uh, were you hesitant or did you have any apprehensions coming to other country for a treatment? No, Nothing. no, because I know this treatment wasn't possible uh, in Denmark and uh, I checked uh, Swiss Medica was the first that popped up when I, when I did the search and uh, I, I wrote an email and 
had a very good contact with my with the main person there and uh, uh, we wrote in German that is my second language so that was easy for me. Uh, can you walk us a little bit through the journey you mentioned from initial contact with uh, with the Swiss Medica till receiving the treatment? Can you tell us more about your experience? Yeah, I, uh, uh, Jana, that was my primary contact, uh, sent me uh, uh, a survey that I have to fill out about my disease and I made a short video and then I was introduced to uh, one of the doctors uh, through a Zoom video or Zoom meeting and uh, I was explained how the treatment was uh, about to take place and uh, how long and I got uh, a prize for the treatment and I have some follow-up questions that all was answered also. <clears throat> so, in your opinion, um, what makes Swiss Medica stand, stand out? Did you, could you think of something that would... Uh... I, I, of course, they are very professional, in my point of view. And uh, uh, there was no problems in, if I ask a question, I had uh, an answer within one or two days. And uh, for the last, would you have any kind of insight or advice for the people uh, suffering from a similar condition as you, are, you have? Um, anything that you would like to share with them that have the same illness? Yeah, I would say definitely that they could, the talk would uh, never harm to, to have that contact with, with, Medica, with Swiss Medicare. Uh, of course, uh, you need the funds to go here, and not everybody will have that. But uh, I, I, I think that it's worth paying those money.